Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we made it to Lurin Village. We haven't had much of a look around yet. So, why don't we do that? And see what we can find. It's quite a uh, peaceful place over here. Hey look, a dog, let me, let me try my luck with a bit of meat. I don't have much meat, that's okay. I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. Here you go. Oh, he's chasing his tail. We also have palm fruit here. Fruit from palm trees that grow near the ocean. It doesn't offer any special effects, but will it but will increase your heart recovery when used as an ingredient. Let me uh drop that so I can take a picture of it. Uh need to switch to that. Oh, apparently I've already taken a picture. Where are we going? This way, apparently. There's the chest. Let's grab that out. There we go. And we get a star fragment. Wow. That's a surprising reward to get from one of those. But that's pretty good, so. Now, let's see. We have a little shield here. A fisherman's shield. Fisherman's Shield, often carried by fishermen for its fish design, which re uh, represents hope for great for a great catch. Its light wooden construction makes it convenient to take onto a boat. Very nice. Lots of rocks around here. I'm guessing there aren't going to be Koroks just out in the open like this. Although that'll be the perfect troll is just having one of them actually be a Korok. Gonna send that rupee flying. Also some, I think, Sun Shroom? Or Endura Shroom. Probably Endura Shroom, yeah. And Endura Shroom underneath the house. Which we can crouch down to get. Now, what do you have to say? You a traveler? I'm a fisherman of this village. But we're in a bit of a bind lately. Monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull in a good hole at... Aris Beach, but these days you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough. Think you could take care of them? Consider it done. Good stuff. Remember, it's called Aris Beach. The monsters have set up a shop there. Stay sharp, just like my sword. Take back the sea. From that. Iron Shell Crab. This crab shell is particularly hard when cooked into a dish. It's fat and meat bolster uh, the body in uh, to increase your defense. There's also a goddess statue over here, which means we can actually get more stamina, I believe, since we have six orbs. Nice. Let's see what else we can do here. Um, it's so nice here, actually. Very chill. Let me just... Can I not climb this? Wow. Okay, then. Well, there's a few houses around here. I don't think all of them are that important. But this is where the people go whenever they need to sleep, at least, so... There's also a cooking pot here if we need it. Hum hum. You a traveler? Good timing. Why don't you join us for dinner? We're having salt grilled fish. The fish 
here are delish. I'm guessing that means that if I cook a fish of some kind, I don't know if, which one I want to do. Uh, probably one of the armored ones. Uh, with some rock salt. Which I should have some. Yeah, I do. That means that if I cook it, probably, it should be tough salt grilled fish. Cool. Salt does do good things to your meals, I believe. Now, is this anything here? I don't think so. Um... All over here is the inn, so we can stay here if we wanted to. But I don't, don't think I've ever had a need to. Um, this looks like a shop. That's what they have in the shop. Oh, this isn't a shop. Place your bets. Psst, come here. No, closer. How'd you like to be rich? Without having to work for it. <laughs> hey, hey, simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those treasure chests over there? What do you say, a little wager on them? The idea is you pick the chest, any chest you want, and open it. Simple, right? The best part is, whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth the opening, hehe. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you pick wrong. Before you go opening any boxes, you'll have to show me what, what it's worth to you. What's a bet, after all, if you don't stand to lose a bundle on it? That's the part uh, that really gets a man's heart racing. It's up to you to show uh, how much you want to throw in, but the more you bet, the more you stand to win. A man like you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash right here right now am i right what do you say all you got to lose is your pride and your money i'm in out of boy now for the million uh rupee question how much are you betting let's go 100 rupees right away way to live on the edge pal that's recklessness i mean fearlessness almost reminds me of me i'll go set up no peeking while I'm fiddling with the chests. Got it? There we go. Step right up and take your chances. Take all the time you need to choose a chest to open. Look, listen, smell, taste. Taste them if, if you think that'll help. I don't think you can cheat this. So it's just a 1 in 3 chance anyway, so it doesn't matter which one you Which chest to open there? Like the Sheikah sensor, maybe? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just luck, so. I'm gonna spend all my rupees on it. Okay, third time's the charm. Okay, this is just being rude now. Where is my luck? Anyway, I'm just gonna give up on that for now, since that's just not gonna work for me at the moment. And let's have a look at what else is in town. Another house. And I believe if we go down this way, we can have a look at this. 
which is a little shop over here, I believe. Which means we can take a picture of the Iron Shell Crab without them running away. And do I have all of this? No, I haven't got Armored Porgy. And Mighty Porgy. This ocean-dwelling fish comes with one rude attitude. The compounds in its flesh uh, elevate your uh, competitive spirit when cooked into a dish, thus increasing your attack power. Oh hey, there's actually some in the water. I could actually just get some for free right here, right now. So yeah, that's the mighty Porgy. Got it. Just cheating everyone of their money. Razor claw, claw crab. This crab is well known for its exceptionally sharp pierces. Pincers. When cooked, uh, when cooked, the strength compound its claws will increase your attack power. There's also the. Uh, is that the artist guy? Yeah, I think that's the artist guy. Which means there's probably a, uh, um, what's it called? A memory nearby. Let me go back to that shop because I don't think I got everything, or had a look at everything yet. Well, there's some electric arrows. Oh, shock arrows, and some regular arrows. Might be a good place to buy them, actually, since there's so many of them. If I can actually, can I not? No, I can. Just not. It was being weird before. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a lot of... Look at the amounts there are. 15. Okay. That's pretty good. But we're pretty... Alright. Ourselves for now, so... Let's just leave that. And I think that's pretty much everything in town. You can also buy these cooked fish over here when there's somebody around. Um... Already got that one. Just gonna grab it if I can. There we go. And let's, I guess, keep exploring around the town for stuff. Well, just nearby town. There's a little area up here to... Oh, there's actually Harold Bass in there. That might be good to get. That's a good spot I can throw this from. That's gonna be good enough. Oh wow, I think I got all of them with that. Some hearty bass as well. Lots of good stuff. Might even have enough to actually upgrade our Zora armor by now. I think that's what we needed. Although it's probably actually something else that we need for upgrading it. Anyway. Now that that's done, there is a shrine that's actually very nearby. That might be worth going to have a look at. So let's go try to get there. I think it's in the opposite direction. So let's just head back to our horse then. And then, yeah. This music's reminding me a lot of Animal Crossing right now. Oh, is this a a thing here? Yeah, it is a different thing here as well. Let me get a picture of that boat war. Made for paddling boats. But it was made sturdy enough to fight strong currents. Maybe it's useful for self-defense in a pinch. Don't need it, but it's interesting. Now then, let's go back up this path. Because I can probably turn up the hill once we get up there. To head towards that shrine. Also, I believe if you feed your horses certain things, you can actually increase their... their stats. 
if you need to. Can I turn up this way? If I'm careful? I don't think so. No, I must be able to. Although I don't think you're supposed to actually take your horse up this way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I said slow down. Oh my goodness. Keith, what are you trying to do? Get yourself killed? There's some leaves up here that we can blow up or burn. Obviously one of them is a lot less resource um, wasteful. Let's grab that. There we go. And now let's keep going, probably. Oh my goodness. Enemies. As soon as I go anywhere, there's enemies. Ah! How? How dare you shoot me? I'm trying to... Oh my goodness. Ow. So rude. So incredibly rude. Just endless enemies everywhere. Oh, really? Really? You think you can teleport away from me and then not die? There we go. Oh my goodness, enemies. Just gonna grab all that so I can use it. Let's do that, and then go along here, I guess. I guess I can just pass through here, pass all these enemies. This is not an actual road, so I'm going to have to be in a little bit of control. There's also other things around here nearby that we could take a look at if we wanted to. Oh, what's the music? Um... Place is fairly nice. Oh, enemies. Oh, that's a white bokoblin. Or silver bokoblin, I think. I think that's what they're called. Well, anyway, let's just keep running. We're almost up to the uh, the shrine, anyway. Also, I think there's. I don't know. I think there's an easy way to get to this shrine. I just can't remember what that would be. Anyway. We marked this shrine so long ago. Well, here we are. On the edge of the world, basically. We can still see out. There's an island there that we might want to go to. Just out there. I'm pretty sure the things way over there aren't actually places we can go to. That's right off the edge of the world, but that island is not that far away. So we could go there. Have I marked that? Yes, I have. We might even go get that in a second here, since we're so close to it. You're supposed to raft yourself over there, but gliding down works too. And there are multiple places to glide down from. Oh, this is a, uh, a, a major test of strength, I think. Well, let's equip the best stuff we have. A modest, okay, that's not too bad then. Um, let's equip everything. Um, what should I do? I can probably just do that. Weapon, probably a duplex. I could combine it with bomb arrows if we want to do lots of damage, or ice arrows since I have so many of them. Weapon, ah, uh, anything will work. I need to get rid of some weapons.
And it might be worth double checking to see if I've actually taken a picture of this or not. I never remember what I've taken pictures of or not. Okay, I have taken a picture of that before. Possibly as I've killed it. Okay, that was some good damage. Just wait for it to come back. Oh, or not. Okay, game. Don't even get the Rook's protection in here. Um, switch weapon. It's a Boko Blown, Bone, whatever it is. Dragon Bone, Boko Club. Okay, that broke as well. Silver Scale Spear. Ow. How dare you. It's shield is going to be annoying. Oh, it's going to spin at me. I might even switch to bombs. Just so that's ready. Oh, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep pomboing. Can't even do anything right now. Oh, back up. Ow! I was trying to perfect dodge that and it did not work. Oh, please tell me there's a pillar here. Good. Okay, silver scale spear broke. Finally, inventory space. Okay, it might be time to use that, those ice arrows. Very nice. What's he doing? Oh, he's doing that again. Ow, ow, ah. That's just annoying me. Okay. Let's be ready. You gonna do something? Okay then, just gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Ow, 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 ow. It only hits me once, but that's okay. Okay, final. Uh, what's it called? Okay, there we go. It was panic mode. Last resort attack. Okay. Oh, and it dropped an ancient core. Guardian Shield Plus. This larger version of a Guardian Shield has had its output level boosted. Its defense capabilities are comparable to those of ancient shield of metal shields. And it's also got durability up. I'm gonna drop that so I can take a picture of it. And I'm gonna probably need to take a picture of its axe as well. If I had to guess. No, I haven't. I don't. I've already got one of these axes. Anyway. Let's see what's in this chest. A knight's bow. Attack plus nine. Um, I've still got plenty of duplex bows. Probably don't even use bows enough because I don't want to waste arrows. Now let's head down to that other shrine, since it's not going to be too hard to do that. Just need to jump down and go. Got plenty of stamina as well. Just going to be leaving our horse for now. Okay, we're getting fairly close now. Hence thing we can see it on our map. Just don't want to land in the water by accident. 
Now, what is this over here? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Go, revise Gale. This will work. You're supposed to raft over to here. But I'm definitely just gonna sail cloth the cloth across. Okay. Now we have to head back across because the thing's over there. The shrine. Also, wish the marker for the Korok would disappear. Like the little platform, since we've already done that. Grab that. Thank you. Let's go. A major test of strength. So this one's going to be tougher than the previous one. Let's get out the boulder breaker. Guess it doesn't really matter what else we use. We should be alright. Now I'm going to guess that I've already taken a picture of this because I have everything else already. So, let's do some damage. Ow! And take some damage as well, apparently. This is why we have materials and also meals. Um, I don't really need much healing. I can even increase my defense. Very nice. If I can actually do a perfect dodge, that'd be great. Just hide back here. Hopefully he doesn't hit the other pillar. Oh, of course he did. Oh my goodness. There we go, nice. The add the axe is easier to quick time dodge. Ow. Because the sword and the speed you have to jump sideways for. Okay, I'm gonna stand back here then. And let's do some damage. A lot of damage. Oh, very good. Boulder break break is badly damaged though. That's okay. Because while we're in the air, let's do shoot it in the eye. Okay, and now we need to make sure we don't break anything. And also lose our stamina, because losing our stamina would not be good. Boulder breaker broke broke. Great frost blade. Very nice. Take that, and then while it's frozen, I'm gonna switch weapon quickly to an ancient battle axe. Very nice. And now it should be going into panic mode. Yup. Okay, swing, 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 swing. Swing! Swing like your life depends on it, because it kinda does. There we go. Nice. Let's take whatever is left for us. Not a ton of great ancient parts, but we do get Guardian Spear++. Plus plus. This Guardian Spear's output has been boosted to the maximum. The spearhead is designed for optimal stabbing, capable of uh, easily piercing most armor. An Ancient Battle Axe++. Plus plus. I'm gonna drop my spear that I just got, because that's different. I'm guessing I took pictures of the other Axe as well already, so we can take all of those. And now, what is our reward for a major? What was that sound? For a major test of strength. Oh my goodness, yes, climbing gear. The ancient technology in this gear will make you your better climber. The special no-slip gloves help your you use your energy more efficiently to facilitate 
nimble climbing. Thank goodness for climbing gear. Also, just quickly, that is the the Hatano Hatano Ancient Tech Lab up there, and that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.